Are you kidding me? That is a beauty. That is a big fish. Yes, it is, Sims. Come on, fish with Latin in your have some fun. Cast a fly in Alaska on the wild Yukon or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. Our day began with Kip working a nice ripple next to some riprap. There we go. All right, Kip. What'd you get him on? Um, I'll see what's nymph. That bottom one you had. Uh, cool. What was tail? What? Yeah. Awesome. Like I said, I put a piece of split shot above to get a little bit lower and pulled him right up in that little hole right up here. Oh man, he's gorgeous. Oh, get back over here. Whoa, boy, what a fish. A nice fish. Oh, that should be good. That should be really good. Yeah. Hey, what a fish. Nice. Hey, yep. Ooh, we're on the board. <laughs> yes. Uh, on the board. Cool. Well, let's take a look at your setup here. Oh, for sure. For sure. So I ran through the same pool three or four times, didn't get a bump. And so Aladdin recommended, hey, try a little bit of weight up above. So I put one piece of split shot on, ran it through the second drift, boom, fish on. What I was using here up above, we had the Prince Nymph with the dropper of the pheasant tail. And he took the pheasant tail and there was zero hesitation. Boy, he grabbed it hard. Nice fish. Kip made a cast behind a likely boulder and let his indicator drift with the current. Are you kidding me? That is a beauty. That is a big fish. Yes, it is, Sims. Big fish. That's a big fish laying yeah, around. Yeah, it is. I can't believe it, man. That first was weird. First cast in there? Yeah, oh, first cast. Wow, it's a monster. Wow. Oh, that is so big. Did it take the big stonefly I put on? Might have. Wow. That is a slab. Oh, look at that beauty. Oh, she's a beaut. Come on over here. Oh, she's a, nah, nah. oh. come here. Come on upstream. It did. It took the big old stonefly head. That is huge. What a fish. Oh, hang him on. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, it did. It had, it, it's out now. It's good. Good. Popped right out using barbless hooks. Yep. It did. Okay. It, it had that, as I say, it had that black stone fly. Is that what it took? I, yes. Wow. Just pounded it. Crazy. Look at the color on that. It looks like it's all like spawning color almost. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. I was not expecting that. No. No. I I'm, thought. <laughs> I no. thought, you know what, Kip, go ahead and fish that. There's nothing there, but we'll you just wouldn't, go try it anyway. You wouldn't let me cast it on the way down to, nah, let's <laughs> maybe hit it on the way back. Right? Blow that rock, right here. What do you think? I'm thinking it looks good. I'm thinking... You call it. I say we hit it on the way back. Okay. But it does look good. It's really good. Oh, what a fish. Thank you. That was awesome. Yeah. That was... Cool. He exploded. Just on it and out of the water. Hopefully you got that on film. That was cool. Ah, awesome fish. So we came up to this hole that we eyeballed earlier and I decided to change it up a little bit. I put on this black stonefly nymph with a pheasant tail dropper underneath it. 
indicator about two feet up above cast into the seam just wasn't the perfect cast not the one i wanted but <laughs> halfway through this brute slammed it and hey the rest is history kip just hooked a beautiful fish using a black stone fly so i caught him out of his rod went up and fish this excellent water right by this bridge. Oh boy, it's huge. Holy smokes. Dang it. No, no. Oh, it's a monster. Shit. I bet he was on that stone fly. I bet it was too. That thing took off so hard. Just like that one down here, just instantly just exploded. Oh, Langman, I saw that rod doubled over. I saw, oh man. Oh, I broke everything off, Kip. What? It's all gone. No. <laughs> I was way too excited. Dang, Dang it, it was huge. It was a slab. Oh was, my I just gosh. saw the bend of the rod and just, oh. Ah, it was monstrous, I could see the shine of that fish zinging upstream. And of course I panicked and nah, broke that thing off and I blew it. And now Kip has to hear me whine for the rest of the day. Woo, Langman, Langman. Holy smokes. Oh, he just got off. Ouch. There's a huge cutthroat swimming right there in the pool. That was a nice fish. There we go. Langman. Oh boy. Another one about 16 inches just came out front of that log and check this one out, see what this one was doing. He ended up losing it and the nymph got him in the tail. Fish. Beauty. And that's small compared to when they came out and looked at it right there. Wow. That was cool. Five casts in a row had fish pick up a nymph right wow. there. So it's like, yeah, the pheasant tail. Very nice. Pheasant tail. And I've seen Pheasant it. tail. Yep. That's cool. That's what, yeah, and I had uh, two bigger ones come out and check these guys out, the last two I've hooked. So there's some big ones in there. Kip. Kip. Oh, nice. Big white fish? Yeah, no. It's even a cutthroat. But I'm not positive. <laughs> I hook into this beautiful fish and Kip does not budge. <laughs> the guy assumes it's a white fish and I don't know why. That's Cuddy. It's cool, it's right under that rip ball. Oh, nice. Yeah, cut. Cut, nice. Woo! It's a gorgeous. Come on, baby. Tell you, it's putting up a heck of a fight. Oh man, I guess. Okay, come oh, on, baby. Oh my gosh, it's a slab. <laughs> wow. Strong fish, strong fish. Come on, baby. Doggone it. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a nap. Why don't you wake me up when you get it in? Get him. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Huge cut. I love it. Took the prints. 
Oh, what a beaut. Oh, man, this is a beautiful, long cutthroat. What a big fish. Man alive. Finally, I've been catching white fish one after another for I don't know how long and uh, fish this area because it looks so good. But I, I caught it right in front of that little root ball. It just came zinging out of there, went down, and that was put up just a long, hard fight. It was pretty amazing. So I was fishing down the way and I heard Ladden yell and I look up and I see he's tied into a fish and he's brawling and... Uh, just another white fish. He's caught a hundred of them, but it kept brawling and brawling. And Ladin's getting more and more excited, and it turns out to be a monster cutthroat, a huge fish, one of the best of the day by far. Not as big as mine, but it was nice. This is set up I use to catch the fish. It's a nine-foot, five-weight rod. I have an indicator, and I'm doing a dropper system. I have a prince nymph up above, and then below that I have this pheasant tail. But that thing hit the prince. Great fish. Yep. Uh-oh. Cut. I think it might be white. It's cut. 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 It's a beauty. Come on, beauty. Yeah, got him. Nice. Woo. Heck yeah. Yeah, heck yeah. Nice cut. What did you take it on? Uh, he took the pheasant tail. Okay. There she goes. Another. Beautiful fish. Um, the nice thing about it is, I mean, we are just literally parked, probably 40 yards up there, and you can hear the highway zinging by, you know, but you just get 100 yards off the main freeway, and you're in this fishing paradise. It's just a great river. Got one, Kip, good one. White fish, it's a good one. Kip was assuming all my fish were white fish again. It's a nice cut, another nice cut right cut under. The, not, not quite to that stump. Nice. Yeah, oh boy, it's a beauty. Cut, it's a beauty. Stubborn. <laughs> gorgeous cut. Beautiful, gorgeous cut on the Prince Mounts again. Wow. Again, just out of this little pocket, see the root ball right there. And uh, just right in here though, so there might be another one, but I'll take that one every time. Beautiful fish. See that, that fast water right there that goes into the root ball? Uh -huh. It's a little slow seam on the inside of that fast water, and that's where yep. I hooked it. Oh, okay. But I haven't even got really close to that stump yet. Was he out in the middle of that? Yeah, it's oh. kind of more just where I could get a drift. We moved downstream to new waters. That's pretty good. Yeah, I, I didn't dislike the looks of, oh. Holy smokes. Psycho.
Holy smokes. Kip headed down the bank in pursuit of the fish. and gradually started to move the fish toward his net. Now look at the different colors. I wonder if like this is yeah. a female and the others were males, the way they were all colored out. Yeah, sure. Sounded good to me. <laughs> it's just resting right just there. Just chilling out. Yeah. That was cool. Hot dang. Okay, now that fish was interesting. It was that fast seam, and I cast out, and my nymph blasted through it. And uh, he followed it out of that deep, dark water and came out in the shallows, probably about eight inches of water, and slammed it. I was not expecting that, but hey, whatever makes him happy, makes me happy.